Okay, I apologize for the loudness of the air conditioner, uh, which is what I'm about to talk about, but I've tried this with the built-in mic. The lavalier is better, even though there's a lot of background sound. So hopefully this video is usable. Otherwise, you'll never see it. Uh, so if you're seeing it, I've decided it was usable enough, which could just be laziness, and uh, if so, I apologize for the terrible audio. Anyway, the trailer has this massive AC unit, which somebody had commented on my last video asking how much power it required because there was no way it could use a 30 amp. Well, it doesn't use all 30 amps, for sure. That would be ridiculous but it does draw 2300 watts on startup um, and then it draws around 1300 running so that puts it over the 20 amp on startup and it puts it over the 15 amp on running which means you got to have a 30 amp in order to run it or you're going to pop breakers i do however want to be able to keep it cool or cool it off in here when i am prepping it for a trip so I decided to get a, uh, a smaller unit to, add, to, to just put in here so that I could cool it down enough to, uh, to work in here and not be completely uncomfortable. And that brings me to that unit in there, which I will get closer to for you so that you can see. Um, sorry for all the banging, but that is the, uh, the unit sitting on top of a a bucket presently next to the sink in there keeping it nice and cool in here that unit i got for three hundred dollars at lowe's um, and it is presently using 700 watts running and it actually soft starts on its own so i can probably use it with the inverter because it already has a soft start feature my camera's not level which is driving me slightly crazy. There we go. Anyway, so what I'm getting ready to do now, that works really well. It is presently 82 degrees in here. It's actually a little cooler outside. Reason being, we're getting a lot of heat through the front window and through the skylight in here. I can actually open this curtain and feel the temperature difference when I initially open it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, actually, you know, that's not really terrible. I'm still going to do it. Uh, and I definitely want to do it in the front window. And that's, I'm going to cut some of this to install in there uh, to just sort of keep some of the light out. And this has a, uh, a light insulate, insulative quality to it. Uh, but more, it's for heat reflection. Uh, this was, I don't know, maybe uh, $13 or $14. Might have been as high as $20. It wasn't, it wasn't any more than $20. Uh, I went with this color for a reason. It reflects a bit more of the heat than the silver stuff. So, oh wow, this is really long. I'm going to go ahead and cut this and put it in place in the skylight first which I don't think I need very much of for that it looks like yeah about nine inches which is my hand from here to here is nine inches give or take close enough so I'm just going to cut up a little bit of this right here into a little square uh, I guess I could bring the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. Not that it's all that exciting, but if you're interested. I think this is a great way to uh, save yourself a little bit of excess heat coming into the trailer. So that just has to go just like that. And there's actually a real easy way to get that to stay there. And that is, it actually came with little, oh boy, this is a, it's very difficult to maneuver the tripod through here. 
Um, but it came with all these, so we're, we're going to test them out. I, I have some other Velcro if these don't work well, but you know, hook and loop is hook and loop. So let me just go ahead and get these out. I'm actually going to keep that little bag because it's neat, useful. Okay. Did they not give me enough mating ones? Oh, they did. Okay. Very good. So I am going to put the soft ones on this and then I'll attach the hard ones, or the, you know, the, I'll put the loop side on this and the hook side on the walls. But first I'll put the loop side in the corners of this thing. And that's got some really good stick. I can actually feel that that's really, really super sticky. I'll do one right there. Right there. And then one right here. And then I will take my loot, my hook, and just affix them without um, the back so that I can just sort of put them in place because this is real easy to target. The hardest part's going to be oops, moving the camera. Uh, I do not have a camera person, however, my wife has volunteered to be camera person in the future, so hopefully there will be less of this kind of strange, terrible circumnavigation problem. Uh, yeah, which... There we go. Okay, so I want the part with the three to be on this side because it's higher. So I'm going to do that first. Place my corners, place my straight bit, place that, and then place those, and there we go. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. That should keep it a little bit cooler in here, but not nearly as much, I suspect, as what I'm about to do, which is show you the microwave. Okay, so I'm just going to put this at this end, and it'll actually be, I think, a little bit easier to see what I'm doing here. Although this is going to get real tight because we still have all of the stuff that belongs in the truck in here until we leave, so I have to move it. Sorry for the terrible audio issues, if there are any. Again, I don't even know if I'm going to get to use these. Pool noodles. Amazingly um, useful for all kinds of things, really. Uh, speaking of that kind of thing, I want to take a moment to thank a couple of the YouTubers that my wife and I have watched um, because they've given us some really good advice, particularly for this trailer. One is Wines, Pines, and Canines, whom I will link in the description. They've got some really good stuff in there, not just for the GoPros, but for camping in general. Um, I definitely recommend their must-have lists because I agree with everything they said, more or less. Uh, maybe not always the same brand, but even that's just because availability or different needs. Uh, and then the other one is the Horizon something. Boy, I should I should be prepared for that. I didn't think I was going to... I wanted to do a proper shout out to these YouTubers, but I will link that to them as well. Uh, the gentleman that does that one and his wife did a three-part series, I think each one is about an hour long, showing the full like setup and takedown um, and some other things, you know, how to use bits in the camper. Really, really super great and informative. Um, they actually told me more stuff in their video than the dealership told me. So I would, I, and I feel really bad because they're, I forgot their 
the title of their channel, but and theirs is probably my favorite. Nothing against Pines. What is it? Wines, Pines, and Canines. But really, they did a top-notch job. Um, both of them did. But to do to do three hours uh, or more of video and to be as concise as they were um, and thorough, like he really did a good job. I really appreciated those videos. I'm gonna take my shoes off here before I climb up on the bed, uh, and I should probably get the scissors. Not that climbing into bed with scissors is a good idea, but uh oh. And I appear to have lost them anyway. Are they folded up in here? Uh oh. I don't know what happened to my scissors. I just had them. And I thought that I would. Oh, they're in the bathroom, which is behind the camera, which is behind this tote. So, um, second pair of scissors. Okay. Now I'm going to just crawl up here and. For right now, what I would... Whoa! Okay. Didn't know that would happen, so that's new. Oh my. Hmm. Don't do that. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to pull these cushions out of here. Oh, they're warm. Oh, they're good and warm. Oh my, there's quite a bit of heat coming in through there. Okay. Goody, goody. So, this one, I'm going to treat a little bit different because it's larger and I don't care about having too much extra anyway because I can use this stuff for all kinds of things. I'm just gonna slice it on right here just to make life a little easier on myself. Uh, another one of those, the Horizon, the Horizon Open, open open horizon something like that anyway that guy the guy with the beard um, who's not me he recommended wedge pillows for here so that things don't fall down behind and I have to say this is the second time that I've had this open and had anything on the bed and it is also the second time that I have dropped something down that gap so that uh, that gentleman's advice is absolutely invaluable and I think that this just will fit just so. Now, I am not going to bother velcroing this one because I'm just going to stick these cushions back in. Um, because this is a really great place, I think, to store them. Um, and also sort of protect the screen from bopping around between the mattress in the window. I mean, I guess I could just leave it open, but um, I just put it just like that, just enough to to secure it, uh, and then fold up the bed, and I'm done. So that's it. Hopefully, that'll keep it a bit cooler in here. I may make cutouts for the side windows here that will just slip in between the window and the screen. Um, but maybe I don't even need to do that. I'm going to watch the temperature in here uh, through my home assistant. So I have a I have one of my Govies that was normally in the truck, so I could see how hot it was in the truck. I brought that Govie in here. It's sitting up there. You probably saw it in the last video if you watched it. Uh, I'm also building a new device. I'll be doing a video in the trailer on a new device using a Raspberry Pi to replace, or rather be better than the um, Level Mate Pro, which runs, I think, about $170 or $180 on its cheapest. And what that is, is it's a little device that you put a little uh, accelerometer module or gyroscope module something um, on your trailer somewhere, and then it lets your phone know if your trailer is level so that you can use it to guide setting up and stabilizing the trailer. I can do better for about $70 or $80 with a Raspberry Pi and have even more metrics than just roll, pitch, and yaw. 
And I don't even know if that one gives you roll, pitch, and yaw. It might just give you roll and pitch. But, which is fine. Yaw isn't especially useful. Unless, you know, unless you're moving, you don't know it anyway. But, the device that I have has a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnemometer, um, a barometer, color light sensor, or, you know, light color sensor, um, an ADC for use with other sensors, other, sen you know, it's got like four expansion sensor ports. It's got all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a thing with that and make a, a trailer helper with a Raspberry Pi that doesn't suck and is pretty cheap. Um, they're doing construction outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But, yeah. So, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it as short and sort of random and sporadic as it was. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, and I do hope you'll join me for future videos as I continue exploring, building, um, and traveling with smarter circuits. Okay, I'm using my phone um, to do a little addendum to that last bit of video that I did. Hopefully the audio is better. But I want to show just how useful these blinds aren't by showing you what they look like through the thermal camera. As you can see, they are quite not great. So, um, in order to alleviate that, I have done the thing with the gold... Uh, retro, or, you know, reflective, heat reflective insulation, as you can see there, and that, look at that, little bit of leakage around the edge, not a whole heck of a lot, just around the one edge there, which I could probably push up and put some masking tape on it, and that would take care of it, um, I might do that, I might not, I don't know, it's not all that bad, um, but as you can see, there's a big, big heat loss in these windows. Even this one here in the door that has uh, this black blind, that blind is more or less useless other than for um, visible light. As a matter of fact, I'll bet you that this one, so let's look at this one over here, once it calibrates. Uh, that one's not great, but if we go over here to this one, those are better. What do you know? Uh, except for, of course, the air gaps in them. But they are a little bit more efficient because, well, they're metal. So, uh, I guess I am actually going to be cutting out more of these and putting them in the windows to get it even colder in here. So, I'm going to go do that. I'm not going to record it because you saw me do it once already.